Over the past 15 years, those of us who have played through the first-person, three-dimensional games set in the Fallout universe have visited Washington, D.C., Las Vegas, Boston, and Appalachia. In the cases of the first three, we've been treated to miniaturized versions of those real-world cities with a distinct Fallout flair layered on top. While the miniaturization of these cities and their surroundings has led to the consolidation of communities and the reduced distance between these communities, we experienced a reasonably good approximation of the layout of those regions. This is not the case with Appalachia. I'm the Resolute Cartographer, and this video covers just how mixed up the map of Appalachia is in Fallout 76. We'll start with municipalities. There are at least 18 that can be found both in-game and in the real world. We'll go through them alphabetically and compare their actual location to their location in Fallout 76. Beckley, the southwesternmost city in Fallout 76's Appalachia, can be found in central southern West Virginia. While in-game Welch lies to its southeast, in real life Welch lies to its southwest. Both versions of Beckley have the Exhibition coal mine though. Berkeley Springs, found near the center of Fallout 76's mire, lies near the northern tip of the eastern panhandle of the state. That being said, both in-game and in real life, Harper's Ferry lies to its southeast, although the real one lies a far greater distance away. Both versions of the town share the park at their center. One of the smallest towns in West Virginia, Bromwell lies at the southern tip of the state, southeast of Welch. That said, the real world town was once home to more millionaires per capita than anywhere else in the United States, and the mega mansions of in-game Bromwell are likely a reference to that. The capital of Charleston lies in fairly similar spots both in-game and in the real world, southwest of the center of the state. The nearby towns in-game are significantly more distant in the real world and are generally not found in the same direction. That said, both versions have the golden domed capital building. Clarksburg, found on the edge of a toxic lake northeast of Grafton in-game, lies on the banks of two rivers southwest of Grafton in real life. Flatwoods, found southwest of Sutton in-game, lies northeast of Sutton in real life, as the towns are practically flipped in orientation. Grafton, as previously mentioned, is flipped in orientation with Clarksburg in-game. That said, both towns appear to be home to the Mother's Day Shrine. Harper's Ferry, found southeast of Berkeley Springs both in-game and out, is also home to John Brown's Fort in both iterations. The Swiss tourist town Helvetia, found in a similar location both in-game and in real life, is also similar in almost every other way. It's easily the town best represented in Fallout 76. Huntersville, found near the eastern border of West Virginia, bears some resemblance to its in-game counterpart, mostly in its rural setting, although there are far fewer super mutants in the real one. Lewisburg, found at the eastern end of the Ash Heap, at the base of the Mountains of the Savage Divide, fairly well represents the real-world location of Lewisburg, as it lies near the base of a ridge of mountains to the east. Both versions are also home to Carnegie Halls. Monongah in-game is nothing like the real-world version. In-game, it lies in the foothills of the Savage Divide, east of Morgantown, while the real Monongah lies southwest of Morgantown on the West Fork River. Beyond this, if in-game it lay in a similar position relative to Grafton and Clarksburg as it does in real life, it would be in the Toxic Valley. Morgantown in real life lies close to the northern border of West Virginia, in-game, Grafton and Clarksburg both lie to its northwest. Both in-game and in the real world, the city is home to the Morgantown Personal Rapid Transit. Point Pleasant is the only town both in-game and out that lies on the Ohio River, and both share the Mothman Museum. While real Summersville lies on the western side of the northeastern tip of Summersville Lake, in-game, Summersville lies at the northern shore of the lake. Besides the lake, the different versions share little in common. Sutton, as previously mentioned when speaking of Flatwoods, is orientationally flipped with Flatwoods. Beyond this difference, real Sutton lies just below Sutton Dam, which holds up Sutton Lake. In-game, Sutton doesn't even have a river. While real Huntersville is small, real Watoga is even smaller, appearing to be an unincorporated community on the outskirts of Watoga State Park. Welch lies at the heart of the Ash Heap in-game, properly northwest of Bromwell and southwest of Lewisburg, but as previously mentioned, it lies southeast of Beckley instead of southwest. In both versions, the town has been hit hard by a reduction in mining jobs, although that's not what destroyed the in-game town. With the municipalities covered, let's look at the other sites the game and real world share in common, and where they are as opposed to where they should be. Once again in alphabetical order, we'll start with Blair Mountain, or as it's known in-game, Mount Blair. In-game, this mountain is home to the Rockhound, a massive bucket wheel excavator that is tearing it down. 
The machine was taken over by rioting miners just before the bombs, which mimics the real-world battle of Blair Mountain, in which striking miners battled mine owners and the state government from August 25th through September 2nd, 1921. It's not far off from its real-world location, even if it lies northwest of Beckley in real life instead of northeast. Camden Park can be found both in-game and in the real world. While in-game it is closest to Beckley, in the real world it lies within the city of Huntington, West Virginia. Not far from Watoga, both in-game and out, one can find the Cranberry Glades, a unique ecosystem that is home to a number of fairly unique organisms, including the carnivorous sundew plants that have grown to enormous size in-game. While in-game it lies to the northeast of Watoga, and is known as the Cranberry Glades, the real-world version lies to Watoga's northwest and is called the Cranberry Glades Botanical Area. Just down the road from real-world Huntersville lies the beautiful rock formation known as the Devil's Backbone, a site that can also be found in-game by the same name, and in practically the same direction. The Dolly Sods Wilderness is a natural area that can be found both in-game and in the real world. Both in-game and in the real world, Dolly Sods can be found near man-made lakes with power plants on their shores. These power plants could probably be on this list given that we're looking at Mount Storm in real life and Thunder Mountain in-game. But it should be noted that the real power plant burns coal while the in-game power plant is nuclear. While real-world Dolly Sods position would naturally put it in the Northern Savage Divide, in-game it's part of the mire. As crazy as it might seem, there is indeed a real-world counterpart to the giant teapot that can be found in-game. While it lies just northwest of Charleston in-game, the real-world site is the northernmost of those listed here today, found in Chester, West Virginia, on the Ohio River at the northern tip of West Virginia. The in-game National Isolated Radio Array greatly resembles the real-world Green Bank Telescope found at the Green Bank Observatory. Along with this, the real-world site is home to the National Radio Astronomy Observatory, a site similar to the in-game National Radio Astronomy Research Center. These sites are within the real-world National Radio Quiet Zone, where radio signals are heavily restricted to offer the best conditions for these massive radio observatories. The Green Bank Observatory lies northeast of Huntersville, just as these two sites do in-game. One of the most detailed recreations of a real-world site, the White Spring Resort serves as an excellent model of the real-world Greenbrier Resort. The site is also home to a representation of the real-world secret Cold War era bunker meant to house the Congress, and a train station that can also be found in real life. While the Greenbrier lies southeast of real-world Lewisburg, the White Spring lies northeast of in-game Lewisburg. One of the smallest sites that has been recreated in the game has to be Hillfolk Hot Dogs, an in-game representation of the real-world hillbilly hot dogs found in Lesage, West Virginia. Both versions lie on the Ohio River. Not far to the southwest of this site in the real world is Canova's Pumpkin House, a site that is represented in-game by the Pumpkin House. While the real site lies near the western tip of the state, the in-game site is found in the mountains of the Savage Divide. One of the more creepy sites that found a place in the game is Lake Shawnee, or Lake Reynolds as it's known in game. I've mentioned this before in another video, but it needs to be said again. Mercer County has done an excellent job marketing the creepiness of the real world site, and you should check it out if you get a chance. I'm not trying to go too deep on any one site here today, but seriously, check this place out. I'll leave a link in the description. While the closest town in game is Lewisburg, it's closer to Bromwell in the real world. Another tourist site found in both versions of Appalachia, the real world Lost World Caverns near Lewisburg can be found in game as the Uncanny Caverns. This site is home to the story of the Bat Boy, whose image currently serves as the thumbnail for the Weird subreddit. The real site lies to the north of Lewisburg, while in game it lies to the northeast. Now we come to a site that isn't named in the game, but is obvious due to its location, Maryland Heights. In the real world, this is a bluff across the Potomac from Harper's Ferry in Maryland. It was an important site during the Civil War, as it was the perfect place to observe the vital b rail line running through Harper's Ferry. The next site served this nation's military in a different age, the McClintic Wildlife Area. In game, this is known as the Black Mountain Ordnance Works, a name that is close to the original name for the site, the West Virginia Ordnance Works. Once an ammunition plant during the Second World War, the site closed after the war ended and became a Superfund site in the 1980s after dangerous byproducts were found to be leaking into the neighboring Ohio River. Both in-game and in the real world, this site lies northeast of Point Pleasant. Real West Virginia is home to the beautiful New River Gorge Bridge, a structure that can be found in-game by the same name, although the in-game version lies northwest of Charleston, while the real version can be found to the southeast. One of the more incredible sites found in-game, the Palace of the Winding Path, 
is an in-game representation of Prabhupada's Palace of Gold. A Hare Krishna site found in the real-world New Vrindaman, West Virginia, this temple has incredible architecture compared to its surroundings. While the real-world site lies in the Northern Panhandle, the in-game site lies in the Savage Divide. That said, it is northeast of Eastern Regional Penitentiary, the closest real-world site found in-game, and it lies northeast of that real-world site in the real world. One of the earliest battles of the Civil War fought near Philippi, West Virginia, is represented by the Philippi Battlefield Cemetery in-game. While the real site lies south of Grafton, in-game it lies to the northeast. A generation or two before this battle, Prickett's Fort served as a refuge for frontier settlers against native raiding parties. Both in-game and in the real world, we're looking at reproductions of the original fort, as the real fort site now lies beneath a rail line. While the real site lies to the southwest of Morgantown, in-game it lies to the northeast of Morgantown. One of the striking natural sites of real West Virginia, Seneca Rocks can be found in-game too. The in-game version is also home to an enormous vulture that has been pinned to its side. From what I've read, this was an early concept for the Scorched Beast when the devs hadn't yet settled on bats. The real world site isn't close to any other site that could be found in-game, but in both the real world and in-game, Seneca Rocks lies north of the next site, Spruce Knob. While the name in-game has become foundation, that settler compound sits atop Spruce Knob, a representation of the highest point in West Virginia. As previously mentioned, Spruce Knob sits to the south of Seneca Rocks, both in-game and out. The secret intelligence base at Sugar Grove is an in-game representation of the NSA Sugar Grove Station. While the in-game site seems purely focused on domestic threats, the real-world site spies on all communications entering the eastern seaboard, or at least that's what the New York Times said back in 05. The in-game and real-world sites are fairly comparable in location. Not far south of real-world Summersville Lake lies the Summersville Lake Lighthouse. This real-world site is represented a significant distance to the northwest of Summersville Lake in-game by the Landview Lighthouse. While the in-game version of the lighthouse is built from bricks, the real-world lighthouse's body is formed from a tower section of a wind turbine. The section had been damaged before it could be used in a nearby wind farm project and was unusable for power production. When the first iteration of the Appalachian Brotherhood of Steel was looking for a headquarters, they found it in the formidable structure of the former Allegheny Asylum. This location is a representation of the real-world Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum found in Weston, West Virginia. While Weston is in northwestern West Virginia, Fort Defiance lies in southeastern Appalachia. In-game, northwestern Appalachia is host to the Tyler County Fairgrounds and Dirt Track, a representation of the real-world Tyler County Fair and Speedway. While the real version lies on Middle Island Creek, a tributary of the Ohio River, the in-game version lies on the Ohio itself. That said, there's also an island in the Ohio River at the mouth of Middle Island Creek, known as Middle Creek Island, that is part of the Ohio River Islands National Wildlife Refuge, which might be represented by Deathclaw Island, a site found close to the Tyler County Fairgrounds in-game. One of the most terrifying sites in-game for its violation of human rights has to be Eastern Regional Penitentiary, a representation of the real-world West Virginia Penitentiary found in Moundsville, West Virginia. While the real-world version lies at the northwestern end of the state, the in-game version lies on the border between the Toxic Valley and the forest regions of Appalachia. A couple of bonus sites. Raven Rock Mountain Complex, a Cold War-era nuclear bunker that is still in use today, can be found just 33 miles northeast of Real World Harbors Ferry. This site can't be found in Fallout 76's Appalachia, but it does exist in Fallout 3's Capital Wasteland, showing just how close these wastelands are. Lastly, I'm hopeful that before too long, we'll see a representation of the real-world Mount Weather in Fallout 76. The real-world site is host of the National Emergency Broadcast System, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, or FEMA, and a continuity of government nuclear fallout bunker of its own. The real site is less than 20 miles southwest of Harpers Ferry, and there are few sites in the area more perfect for another enclave base. With the cities and sites covered, let's look at the bodies of water that can be found in-game, as they seem to me to be the best representation of just how jumbled the map is. The best I can tell, there are 13 real-world rivers and 3 lakes that can be found represented in the game. The in-game rivers are generally not representative of a single river, but multiple, based on their locations and the cities and sites that they pass. Once again, starting alphabetically, we have the Buchanan River. The real Buchanan River flows north past Helvetia to eventually join the Tigert Valley River that will come to soon enough. Technically, the stream flowing through Helvetia isn't the Buchanan River, but one of its tributaries. That said, there is a stream flowing past Helvetia in-game, but it's running south and has three other potential names to it. 
Up next, we have the Elk River. The Elk River runs from Sutton to Charleston. Not really, in truth, it's far longer than that and starts far to the east of Sutton. But for our purposes, the shorter designation works. While well, in-game, Sutton doesn't have a river, Flatwoods does, and the two towns are swapped in location in-game. Thus, this river is a representation of the Elk River. That said, this river flows out of Morgantown in-game and passes the Gali Mine. This poses a couple of problems. First of all, the Monongahela is the river that flows out of Morgantown in real life, and it flows north. As for the Gali Mine connection, the Gali River is up next on this list. The Gauley River lies east of Charleston and is the main inflow and outflow of Summersville Lake. In game, there is a river that flows into Summersville Lake, but it too flows out of Morgantown. Because of this, I have deemed that both this river and the former are partially representations of the Monongahela. Along with this, it's potentially representative of the Buchanan River as it flows past Helvetia, and if we take the Tigert Water Treatment Plant as an indication of the river's name, we add the fourth potential name to the river, Tigert Valley River. Up next, we have the Greenbrier River. The real-world Greenbrier River starts near the eastern West Virginian town of Durban and flows southwest to join the new river near Bell Point. Along its course, it flows near the Green Bank Observatory, Huntersville, Watoga, the Cranberry Glades, the Greenbrier, the Lost World Caverns, and Lewisburg. Because of its proximity to Watoga and the Cranberry Glades, I have deemed this in-game river to at least partially be representative of the Greenbrier. That said, the location of this river east of the mountains flowing north to Harpers Ferry makes it partially representative of the real-world Shenandoah River that we'll get to in a minute. There are a couple of rivers in-game that could be representative of the Kanawha River. The Real World River is formed from the confluence of the New River and the Gauley River at Gauley Bridge, West Virginia, and it flows from there through Charleston to Point Pleasant on the Ohio River. The river in game that flows through Charleston splits and heads southwest and north. We'll get to the northern section in a moment, but the southwestern section flows straight to the Ohio River past the Kanawha Nuka Cola plant. The Monongahela River is formed from the confluence of the West Fork River and the Tigert Valley River, two rivers that we'll cover soon near the city of Fairmont, West Virginia. The Monongahela flows north through Morgantown to eventually join the Allegheny River at Pittsburgh, where they form the Ohio River. The new river starts all the way south in North Carolina, but the section we'll consider starts at Bell Point, West Virginia, where the Greenbrier joins it. This river flows under the New River Gorge Bridge, and because of this, we can say that the fork of the Kanawha flowing north out of Charleston could also be seen as partially the new river. This is odd, as previously mentioned, the New River is a component of the Kanawha River, and it ends east of Charleston. The Ohio River is definitely present in-game, and represents the western boundary of Appalachia in Fallout 76. In the real world, it serves as a tributary of the Mississippi River, and we can reasonably assume this to be the case in-game, too. The Potomac River can be found in Fallout 76 and Fallout 3, but in this case, we're mainly concerned with a section that passes real-world West Virginia. In this case, it starts west of Berkeley Springs and forms a lot of the border between Maryland and West Virginia. In game, this river starts at the Crevasse Dam and flows past Harpers Ferry. As previously mentioned, the Shenandoah River can be found in game, but potentially in two spots. There's this short stretch just south of Harpers Ferry in game that seems to be a representation of the river. But the river flowing north from Watoga also seems to be a good analog. The Real World River forms near Front Royal, Virginia, and flows northeast to Harpers Ferry, where it becomes part of the Potomac. That said, none of the endgame rivers in the area around Harpers Ferry flow anywhere, seemingly pooling in the eastern end of the mire without an outlet. The Real World Potomac has a tributary known as the Stony River that seems a potential match for the Potomac in game as well, given the nature of the lake behind the Crevasse Dam, which we'll get to here in a moment. The Tigert Valley River is a fairly long river in real life, originating far to the south of Grafton. It flows north and serves as a major inflow to the man-made Tigert Lake, runs through Grafton, and ends up joining the West Fork River to form the Monongahela. In game, this river is so toxic it glows orange and flows into Grafton Lake. The aforementioned West Fork River starts not far to the west of the origin of the Tigert Valley River, but it's so narrow that I couldn't sketch it properly on a larger map, so I'll show you this one that starts near Clarksburg. I should note here that just like the Tigert Valley River, it also has a man-made lake on its length, in this case, Stonewall Jackson Lake. Speaking of lakes, we finally arrived at the three man-made lakes that exist both in-game and in real life. Starting with Mount Storm Lake, the real lake can be found in the eastern panhandle of West Virginia near the Dolly Sods Wilderness just like in-game. 
In game, the site is also home to the Thunder Mountain Power Plant, a representation of the Mount Storm Power Plant. The outflow of the lake is the Stony River, a tributary of the Potomac. Next up on lakes, we have West Virginia's largest lake, Summersville Lake. This lake, formed through the creation of the Summersville Lake Dam, has been drained in game thanks to the destruction of the Summersville Lake Dam by Raider boss David Thorpe on Christmas Day 2082. The real Summersville Lake Dam lies about 73 miles above Charleston, while it looms above the city in game. Despite this increased distance, I have to think that if the dam were destroyed in real life, it would likely lead to serious damage to the city, although probably not as bad as in the game. Lastly, we have Tigert Lake, represented in-game by Grafton Lake. The real lake is a recreational area southeast of and above Grafton. In the game, the lake is to the southeast of Grafton, but it's also below the town. The lake in-game has been partially drained thanks to damage sustained by the dam on the day of the bombs. Alright, with the major differences covered, I've got a note on this content before closing things out. I feel I need to explain my view on the place of the Fallout games within the Fallout universe. I believe that the Fallout games are an approximation of the Fallout universe, not a literal representation of it. I know that might seem like a strange view, given that the games are the primary medium in which we experience the Fallout universe, but when you consider it, it's really the only option that makes any sense when it comes to the world existing as it does. For starters, the cities and towns are tiny compared to the real world versions. For example, I recently covered Grafton, West Virginia in a lore video, a town that has 27 houses in game. The real world Grafton has a population of approximately 4,700 people, and it has suffered multi-decadal decline due to a loss of jobs. At the time of the bombs, Grafton in the Fallout universe was in much better economic shape than its real world counterpart, and despite that, there are only 27 houses to be found. Beyond this, there are pieces of lore that reference sites that do not exist in the game. While there are several sites like this, those that come most readily to mind are a police station and a vehicle way station in Morgantown, and a university in Watoga. Beyond this, there are towns without grocery stores, gas stations, or even convenience stores. Personally, I'm glad that the devs don't create a one-for-one -one representation of the Fallout universe. Consider how much more walking there would be, how much more empty stretches of barren, empty wasteland there would be, with nothing interesting found in them. This way we get to experience the world and not deal with the tedium of reality. One last thing to consider, survival mode in Fallout 4 is an interesting challenge that, among other restrictions, doesn't allow fast travel. Imagine if you really had to walk 16 miles to get from Concord to the center of Boston. Imagine if in Fallout 76 you really had to walk 32 hours to get from Flatwoods to Morgantown. Alright, I think that'll do it for the scrambled map of Appalachia. If you want to receive notifications when I launch lore videos, you can follow me on Twitter at GamingWithMaps. I'm streaming on YouTube once a week. I don't have a specific time nailed down, but I'll announce when I'm going to stream a day ahead on Twitter. If you're interested, come check it out. If you appreciate what I do here and you want to support the channel financially, you can become a patron with Patreon. I want to thank my patrons Mesothelioma, 76 of Texas, Dark Malcontent, Brian, Real76, Dr. Orion, Samsung Smartfridge, Night Spearhead, and Ahotep for their support. This has been the Irresolute Cartographer. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.